Um, typically for food plot or, in, or other cover crop termination, we're looking at a simple um, application of uh, glyphosate, normally not using any other um, herbicides. Um, glyphosate's a broad spectrum herbicide, um, and it is really effective at killing just about everything. Um, obviously, there has been weeds that have come up that are now glyphosate resistant um, due to it being used for a long time and, and in many cases not being um, used properly. Um, but in general, uh, it is a uh, good burn down method for those who are willing and interested to use uh, an herbicide. Um, that would be one that is, is often used. Like anytime you're using a chemical, whether it's acetone to, as a paint thinner to an herbicide that you're using on your farm, um, I would highly recommend reading the label, following the label instructions, and even if you'd like to, Googling the SDS sheet for more information. Now the next method I'd like to talk about is physical termination. Um, here behind me, obviously this is a large uh, scale example, but a roller crimper. Um, <clears throat> roller crimpers are ag absolutely fantastic options, uh, especially if you can get one front mounted, um, or if you have another tractor that can follow you, or some of the ones that are out there now um, that are uh, tow behind, like on an ATV or something, if you're doing smaller acreage. Um, you know, so the pros of a roller crimper are that you, it's a physical termination method. Some of the negatives of a roller crimper is just the amount of termination you're going to get. Um, you, you have to have good timing in order to get the termination um, that most are looking for. Um, obviously, if you have a really diverse cover crop mix, like uh, vitalized seeds, carbon load, um, <clears throat> and you try to go and roller crimp it, um, well, not every single species in there is going to be in the, in the stage where it's most susceptible to roller crimping. Not saying it can't be done, um, but that's just one of the negatives. Obviously, the pros are no herbicide use. And for most guys who are doing cover crops and or um, like wildlife food plots or gardens or something like that on somewhat of a smaller scale, it's really not that big of a deal if you have a little bit pop up because deer and wildlife and things like that are going to eat it anyways. So that's my um, takeaway on, on the roller crimpers. The other um, potential issue with roller crimpers is like in my terrain we have really rugged terrain and nothing is flat so to try to haul a roller crimper um, and get really good constant contact on the soil is is difficult i mean even with a no-till drill it's difficult to always have all of the rows going in some parts of the field um, so it's a it's one of the negatives is you really do want um, good surface and constant contact um, and then lastly of course it's just you have to cover those fields with that, in most cases, in a food plot or wildlife setting, guys are doing it about six foot, maybe eight foot at a time. Uh, whereas, you know, one of the benefits of spraying, if you go that route, is obviously um, you're covering more ground faster. 